condition. So I think D should be in the same position as C. But the order doesn't matter. Because I could start, what I'm saying is triangle ABC. It could be triangle BAC. It could be triangle CBA. It doesn't matter which. Cool? Still a triangle. Well, we'll look at question three. And then we'll uh, finish up there. So question three, we've got determine the length of a missing side. Before the temptation here, we're going to have everything out of our hands, I've had that, even if you've got the question right, I just want to run through this. The temptation here is to say, well, I know the 12 is a 6, therefore the 10 is the, the 5. I've clearly doubled my side, this is half the length of my 12, so this side's going to be half the length of my 10. But we wouldn't get any marks correct for that, even though you are correct, you would get very few marks for that. Because this question really isn't about you identifying a pattern. What's it about? Improving, improving that it's similar and then using your understanding of similar triangles. But most of the work is improving that it's similar. So I've presented you with a question you need to try and identify what the missing side is, but to do that, you first have to. Jay, what's the first thing we have to do? Or maybe flip that iPad upside down. Yeah, no, that's fine. I said everyone. I mean everyone. And you are correct, Jake. The first thing I need to do is look for a way that I can prove similarity. So anytime I can prove that two parts of this triangle are the same, I'm getting myself closer to proving similarity. So I don't need to, I mean, it's good if I can remember all my similarity proofs off the top of my head. But if I can't, just try and prove that two parts of these triangles are the same. And I can see, well, I've got the actual. So I know that, the, that these angles here are the same. So I start with ABC is the same as EBD. And I put a little justification as to how I know that. That's my comms coming through. I then say, well, these lines are parallel. So that means I can use a different rule. What can I use? What rule? Z. Z rule. I can use that for both those triangles. For the bottom one, I can use a different rule. What's that? 180. 180, next. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go to the bottom. Okay. Um, and then for, I've got all three angles, so I can now prove similarity. Why can't I use any other proof? I have to use that proof. I've got no other option here. Why must I use that proof? We need at least two sides to prove similarity, correct? So the only proof I could possibly use is AAA. Once I've got my proof of similarity, I can then introduce my scale factor. This is slightly different to how I did it before. Same thing though, exactly the same thing. In the one before I had EB over AB equals db over cb. It's exactly the same thing. I've just structured a little bit differently. I then put my 12 centimetres divided by my 6 centimetres with my scale factor of 2. Do scale factors have units? No, they don't. I then use my known scale factor to determine my unknown x. I multiply x to both sides, divide both sides by 2, and I'm left with x equals 5 centimetres. 